Ray, what an idyllic spot. Thank you for taking the time. Mm -hmm. Thanks for showing me around. I will definitely uh, put this up on my YouTube channel. I hope you get some inquiries from customers. Thank you. And thanks for coming. And thanks nice for having to me. Meet you. Nice to meet you, Kunray. <laughs> Take care. Huh? You too. Always a pleasure to meet someone like that. Love his concept. Details will be uh, obviously in the video and I'll, I'll put it in the description as well. Anyways, we're off to my NAM. I wish I had time to go to Lipinoy and many other places, but now it's near noon. I have to have the car back at two, so away we go. If you're looking for Ray's place, just look for the two big elephants. <laughs> Turn in there. Back through the roundabout. I love roundabouts. It just makes sense, especially in a medium traffic area like this. It works great. Welcome to paradise, says Chang. Anytime you have a Chang in your head and you're in Thailand, it's pretty close to paradise. <laughs> I can tell these, are these guys are tourists. You see how they're wobbling on that bike? They're like visiting from Bangkok or somewhere. Didn't keep the signal on. Oh yeah, it did. That's always a dead giveaway. Hope they drive safe. They look a little wobbly. This is not the place for training wheels. I just went by a place that literally said, and we're near Bangpo Beach by the way, and it said uh, $2.99 a night. It was bungalows on the beach. This beach. <clears throat> Incredible. Okay, let's have a look at my nav. Just turn left from the main road, past the Austria bar. Looks like many of these places are shuttered, but again, it's, what is it? Noon 30. So perhaps some of them open at night. Look at that old Thai house, isn't that beautiful? This looks like the real deal right here. Tell you what, my name looks like a funky little village. I like it. And sadly again, some shuttered shops and for rent signs. Someone would have worked hard to build that business and open it. The Southern Bar. Bet they play some Leonard Skinner in here. That's wine from Chile, Cabernet Sauvignon, or Merlot. 100 baht, not bad. Yeah, decent prices. Southern barbecue, it says. It's a great, great looking little pub. How long have you been here? All this place been open here. Before, I used to be in Nazar uh, Soy about six years ago, but here, about four years now. And this is the Southern. I take it you like bikes. Uh, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Oh, you know. <laughs> A great little place. I think PCX is going for a one day 300 baht. Clicks are going for 200 baht. Here's some more little bars. Thai food beach bar pool. Sidang bungalow down there. Oh, let's go take a look. Sidang bungalow. There you go, right on the side. Have everything. Okay, so the bungalow 500 or upstairs 500. Can I see? Eat, drink on the beach. Oh, careful. <laughs> wow, okay. It's actually a big building. Balconies. Okay. Okay. TV, aircon and a fan. So this is 500 right now, yeah? 800 or, uh, no, no, 1,000? 800 to 1,000, depending if high season, low season, yeah? This is better. And a good breeze blowing through here. A couple of sofas. You got your Du Yen. 
bridge and the real reason why you'd want to stay here this yeah I could do coffee here or a sundowner with that view how much for this room Eight hundred. <laughs> Amazing. In a high, in normal high season, this would be what? Twelve hundred. Uh, twelve or fifteen. Twelve or fifteen. Sidang bungalow by the beach. Sidang dot com. Yes. <laughs> we got ultra high tide right now, but. Hopefully that gives you an idea of what my damn beach looks like, despite the super high tide. Another charming place right on the corner here. The boat. Restaurant and bar. Very nice. See your restaurant room for rent. So what do you cop? Wow. Yes, please. Can I look? I don't want to intrude on him, but he's got a coconut there. So relax. Not a care in the world. Chan's Chan Song Nat. Second floor. He says six, but the room says three. My by Chan Chan Song. Talok Talok. Sanuk Mark. Okay, now the key matches with the door. Ah, voila, see how that works. Holy crap, this looks wonderful. Wow. Are you kidding me? This looks perfect. A little fridge there. Coffee maker. Big breeze again. Looks like they've got an IPTV box. A little nook area. What's that? So I mock. Look at that beach. Look at the location of this place. Wow. Again, I'm using the the automated gimbal on this phone and it crops about 10% of the room size, so we'll save. And long man. How about? Proper shower curtain so you don't get water all over the floor and a hot water system. Okay, I'm liking this. Very clean. My soccer ball. My name is Luca. From you, Mark. Yeah. This looks like a great place for lunch, actually. Beautiful view, nice, nice apartment. So how much for the sea view one on the third floor? One day, one thousand. And if longer? No. Do you do 800 for longer term? Okay, like one week? Wow. In normal season, if my me COVID, how much? Maybe one high season. 1500 in high season, oh, normal. Now 1,800, uh. like that, okay. They're not email, no good, and you tell telephone to me, Facebook, and you look, yeah. see view. Okay, you have line for Taurus up, me line. Ah, uh, me line. Okay, there you go. This might be my outro shot. You know, where you're running the credits and you have that silly thing, subscribe here. By the way, please click like and subscribe. I never say that. You know, is that it? Oh, -ho. Wow.
for a fact. Final lunch, final day. Don't really want to go. Anyways, Kaupai Gai Kai Dao Mai Su. That's basically chicken fried rice with uh, soft egg. Tang Mo Pan. Watermelon juice. And that view. That hit the spot. Hang in there, better days are coming. Thailand will reopen. Hang in, hang in. So that was Sea View on the Beach. There's a few foreigners stretched out on the beach here and there, enjoying themselves. Nice little village. Thumbs up for me. Okay, leaving lovely Minam. Your destination is on the left. Wake up. Thank you so much. See you next time. Great service. Highly recommend this place. You're online. If they put that number in, they get line as well, yeah? There's uh, the card, guys, if anybody's interested. They got great reviews on Google. So this nice chap who works at the uh, car rental place is driving me to the airport, which is really handy. Drop off the car, get a ride directly to the airport. Smiri Airport. Still one of the nicest little airports. Okay, Kapkuma Kap, JD Kap, bye bye. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, sir. My size, 1950 for Billabong, 50% off. I wonder if that's already. Probably not. Exactly what I want without this. Oh well. You want value add, right? In your airport. Make this the funkiest airport around. Like Singapore has that great swimming pool on the, what is it, the third floor outside with a bar. That's what you need here. Hancock Airways, build a swimming pool with a bar at Samui Airport. Then it'd be worth the three grand or whatever it is you charge. I'll go one further. Build the pool right beside the runway so it's got a view. You can do some plane squatting while you're sat there with your drink in hand in the pool. This thing just caught my eye. That cannot be one piece. Looking for the joinery. You know what? That may be one piece. A few shops open. Focusing, open. That's a book about hope. And right behind that title. <laughs> Losing me shows us the key to being stronger, happier. Stop trying to be positive all the time. <laughs> Yeah, wallow in your negativity. That'll get you through. Oh, man. Pass. Okay, let's go into the belly of the beast. As Sean Connery, rest in peace, used to say. What a loss. Homemade coconut ice cream. Things are looking up. 
possibly a beer as well. I wonder how much a beer is here. I think the last place we had Americana was what, 50 baht? Suddenly it's 140 baht. Go figure. Still, three bucks at the airport, it's not bad. Americano 90, this went down. Latte 90. To be fair, I think Starbucks is even more expensive than that. Being a Canuck, I'm halfway between a Denny's Grand Slam and a proper English fry up. Either of those would just suit fine. 150 baht, five bucks at an airport. That's pretty good. Chang, chang, chang. Can, bottle, draw it. 120. That's not bad, isn't it? What's that, four bucks? Mojito, five bucks, 150. Me cafe latte cup. Cup con crap. Well, there you go. That's better. I just can't resist, even at, what? They were 120 baht? I would resist at four bucks, but at two and a half, come with me. Only 50 baht for coconut. Cup and cup? My own two and cup, it's okay. Cup and cup? So wait, this is all this is all free? All free, complimentary. Thank you very much. Okay, it's good to know. Good to know after I bought all this junk. <laughs> A few little shops. And then the holding pan. Yeah, even the plane's gotta wear a mask. Samui Airport Pro Tip. If you want aircon. Be a little impolite to stay in here for say 45 minutes while you're waiting for your flight. It is rather cool. Back in the west, they kind of turn their nose up at the sink, but after you've been here a while, you never go back. After all, if you had mud on your face, you wouldn't just use a tissue to clean it, would you? Flying tip always bring a light pair of pants because it's freezing on the damn plane. Flight TT1 46 and it's Kotiakanas, Bangkok. It's now ready for boarding. Now we need to see him to Marie. Sandra protect tourism. ครับสวัสดีครับขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับข
start this down quick. There's only an hour and a half of this flight. And if we can see on a clear day, that is San Roy Yacht. See the skyline of the city just to the top of the frame. We're landing at Savannah Boogie, by the way. Swampy. Swampy. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, we have now landed at Savannah Boom Airport. The time is now 10 minutes past 5, 5 p.m. You can add on your mobile phones and electronic devices too. Thank you for flying with us and we look forward to see you again soon. New tourists to come back. Need this shit to be over. Weird how they let five rows off at a time so there isn't a huge scrum or a huge rush to the exits. I had to come back to Bangkok to get a good sunset. You can see the turbines are all covered up there. The cockpit is closed in. Sleeping buses. Plus a bit more cold for now. You can see they haven't moved for months. A little dirty. Yeah. While we're waiting on the carousel. Let's look at the lovely Suwanapum Garden, shall we? So you can see all the Bangkokian domestic tourists that hit Samui for the weekend. Fair number. This is one of six, I'm guessing, flights from Samui. Got luggage coming out already. Don't laugh at anybody who has these big orange suitcases because, hey, you see that? You'll never lose it in the carousel. I'm gonna get me one of those big red ones. And I'm going to go to the rail link. It's the biggest advantage of coming here to Suwana Boom. So just a quick look around. We've got Cafe Amazon, Sha Me, Krispy Kreme, Swati Cup. Road Thai Fa, sorry. King Power is open. Since I'm here, I should probably go upstairs and have a look around, but you know, we'll go up and see what restaurants are open. What the hell? And here's a place everyone, most people watching, will know well. Not surprising, Air Asia counters are pretty busy. They're the biggest regional domestic carrier in, around these parts. Pardon me, this is this is a Vietjet queue. They're really giving Air Asia a run for their money, Vietjet. Air Asia is a really great local airline, and Vietjet actually is making inroads. They're a pretty great airline. I've flown with them two times since I gone, and it looks like these guys are going to. I have no idea. I'll ask. It's outside.
All flights. Where are they going to today? Uh, Phuket, Chiang Rai, Chiang Mai, Phuket. Wow. Not yet. 43 flights today. 43, thank you. Well, there you go. 43 flights for Vietjet today. Now we'll go downstairs and have a quick look at what's open and what's not open. Burger King wasn't open before the last time I was here, if you look back in that old video I did of Suwanapum a couple months ago. You know, a lot of those places weren't open and they are now. S&P is open. Doing a bit of trade as well, look at that. Good for them. Okay. Again, all domestic, but better than nothing. Dina De Luca. Okay, I admit I've been here once. <laughs> the food, food was okay. I don't know if I'd like paying 350 baht for a sandwich, but... Uh, and at the international arrivals, some people will recognize this. Crickets, I'm afraid. But believe me, it's going to change. Thailand will reopen again. Hang in there. Look at the buses. See if the buses are running from uh, the Bell bus. Woohoo, they're open. So it's 130 baht to Pattaya. Five times a day. Every day. At Konya. Kon uh, 12 o'clock. Uh, many people. At 12 o'clock. So 12, Konya, and then. No, no, no. Kon Kon Thai, Kon Phalang. Kun Thai Ye, Phalang Okay, one just, time? Just one time. Just one time. Let's go to the damn food court, may as well. This is going to be an epic long movie that nobody's going to watch probably. Holy crap. The food court is jumping. This, for anybody who doesn't know, is the best bargain you're going to find for food at the airport. You always know it's good value because a lot of the local staff are eating here as well. For example, some pork dishes there for 40 baht, 50 baht, 40 baht. Okay, rice with one topping, so you can get some cuphead guy for 40 baht. It's just over a dollar. Oh, geez, look at that. There's a pho place. Pho? What do you got? Pho? Okay. So, that was the food court at Suwanapum. Okay, just popped into the loo at Suwanapum. See? No bum gun. You take him out everywhere or not putting him in new places. It's just annoying. Put them back. Again, would you wipe mud off your face with just a tissue? Would you? <laughs> okay, toilet ran over. The food court. You're out of the basement and you're at the airport railway. Simple as. And here we are, airport rear link. We're all the way to Makassan and it's 35 baht. It's just over a dollar. Okay, here we go. So for just over a buck, you can get all the way into town. I'm going to Makassan because it connects to MRT Asok. And here comes the train. As you can see, we're pretty full up. Now we head to Petbury MRT, which is connects to Nagasan. And the end of this video at last. Probably epic long. Sorry about that. Okay. 
I won't go on about electric cars again, but if you haven't seen it, please do watch the video that I did about EVs. Just imagine if we had electric cars, what this would sound like. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, I won't go on and on about electric cars again. Please watch my EV bit. Thanks. From here, we connect to Pet Marie MRT. With the ever-expanding MRTs and SkyTrains, Bangkok is actually getting smaller and smaller. At least it feels that way. 10 baht barbecue. Welcome back to Bangkok. Is MRT Peppery, which connects to Asok, Sukhavi. Please mind the gap between train and platform. And we're at a soak. Go for a pizza. I usually do when I come back. Capri Cosa looks good. That looks good. Cold overrun at Bruto. Pizza and pretty much everything here is awesome. Including the bread. Looks awesome too. Voila! Thank you. You asked for this spicy oil. It's like chilies and olive oil. What could be better than that? It was like a little Italian seasoning on top. There we go. And chilies, of course. Now it's ready to consume. This place is like life itself. I love it. You know, that's one thing I gotta say that as much as I love going to Samui and all these islands, etc., something about a buzz, the buzz that Bangkok has, it's kind of addictive. Well, I guess that's a wrap. That was a, a great trip. I really enjoyed it. Hope you guys enjoyed watching along. I hope everyone can get back here soon. Take care all. Please hit like and subscribe.